Hey, boo. <laughs> Holy child, it is a time in the land. Happy Friday, y'all. Wait a minute, hold up for a minute, man. Y'all can't see I'm dead wrong. I got the light behind me. Maybe if I set it right here, y'all can see. Can y'all see me? There I go. There I go. Good morning. <laughs> now, don't worry about my no curtain rod situation, you know. Just, just focus on the prize, okay, right here in front of you. Don't worry about all that in the background and stuff like that and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's, let's see. There I go. How y'all doing this morning, child? Mm, mm, mm. All right, I got a good show for you all today. Don't worry about the noise in the background. I got my windows open. You can probably see my curtains, you know, the ones without the rod. I mean, you know, my curtains blowing, you know, from the air and stuff, because it's a beautiful day in Zamunda. <laughs> all right, y'all. So, um, like I said, I got a good show for you all today. Um... I'm going to be eating my breakfast while I talk to y'all. I got some real talk for y'all this morning. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it's a few things I want to go over before I do that. Now, um, I got my head scarf on, but you want to make sure that you go over to my baby triplets channel and subscribe because today is going to be the day that I teach you all how I do my head wraps. Okay. I'm going to do different the different styles that you've all have ever for those of you who've been around for a while for those of you who have not been around and you're new hey boo <laughs> but yeah i wear scarves sometimes i wear it like this little you know crackhead bun in the front and sometimes i wear you know and i'm gonna just show y'all the different ways that i tie my scarf if you want to like if you want one color on this side or one in one another color on this side i'm gonna show you how to tie the scarf together and get the, you know, the double color, or if you want two colors in your little bun, I'm going to show y'all that. So go over to my Makeup for Dummies channel. I will link that channel below. Matter of fact, I'll link my last video that I did on that channel below. And that way you can go over there and subscribe, child. And that way you'll be notified, child, when I upload, okay? So I'm going to be doing a head wrap tutorial. And I want to show y'all how I do my hair when it's dry. I showed you how I do it when it's wet right out the shower, but I want to show you all how I do it when it's dry. So I'm definitely going to do this today. The dry hair I may have to do tomorrow. So I'm having oatmeal this morning. So I hope you all don't mind. A little breakfast and a little coffee. Um, I'm sitting at my desk. So that's why I need to face this way. Because um, I'm doing some stuff, y'all. So um, I got my Oprah subscription in the mail today. Um, uh, no, I picked it up the other day for August. This is my August subscription. And it says the age-free life. Oh, I love that. I can't wait to get into this and read it. Because, you know, that's how I feel. You know, age ain't nothing but a number, okay? You're only as old as you feel, okay? And I feel good, okay? Even though I'm closer to 50. I mean, I'm not 50 or nothing like that and all that kind of stuff. But I'm close to it. And I'm, I feel good about that because I feel like I look good for my age, okay? I walk. I run. I can do stuff. I mean, I don't walk and run for exercise purposes, even though I should. But I'm just saying, if I need to run, you know, when I slap somebody upside the head, you know, I got to get running. <laughs> I got to run, girl. I got to run. No, for real, though. I'm just playing, girl. Mm, anyway. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, I, I, I feel good, though. Okay? So, don't ever let anybody, for those of you who are, who are 50 or who are approaching 50, I noticed that a lot of people like to make reference to your age. When you're like in your upper 40s, you too old for that. You need to sit down somewhere. You a grandmother. Uh, excuse me? Uh, bitch, where? <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. I mean, so you're only as old as you feel and uh, as old as you look, okay? And I'm, I mean, I must say, I ain't doing too bad here, okay? I'm kind of easy on the eyes, okay? So, yeah, this is good. The age-free life. If you live your life just being happy and spunky and stay motivated and encouraged the age doesn't make a difference okay it's how you feel and how you carry you know yourself in a, in a high energy type way that keeps you feeling young and looking young no matter what the age say so don't worry about no age and all that kind of stuff and everything like that and all that <laughs> all right y'all so all right let's get started because see that's why i be long with it because i be all over the place and all that kind of stuff so um I'm going to take some medicine while I'm eating my breakfast and drinking some coffee chair with creamer. So y'all can have some creamer with me. And I say that because 
I got more creamer in the cup than coffee. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, I got something good that I want to talk to y'all about. I'm going to highlight y'all about some things, okay? Because I know y'all have said it this before, okay? I can't stand that bitch, okay? Oh, uh, okay. Well, anyway, we, we going to get to that, okay? Why well, I said that, okay? Mm-hmm. Ooh, child, ain't nothing like a good cup, cup of coffee, child. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to set this back here because I don't want to spill it on my desk. Because I got things going on over here that's important. Okay, now, you know what? I forgot to bring something, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Look, let me, let me explain something to the new people, okay? This is channel 100, a.k.a. 100, okay? So if you like ghetto ratchetness, okay? If you like for people to keep it real and keep it 100, if you like for people to get other people all the way together when necessary if you like for people to snatch wigs and uh get them edges together okay them ball heated edges together okay on people and all that kind of stuff yeah and all that kind of stuff and everything like that and all that okay so yeah this that, this, this, this the channel okay because i get people all the way together when when necessary and i snatch their wigs okay and i get their edges on for leak status <laughs> No, but for real, I got to go get something. So the reason why I was saying all that, because sometimes I may have to get up and go get something. I may have an interruption from my children, my husband, you know, just all kinds of nonsense, foolishness and foolery. I mean, I just, I just do me, okay? And you just do you, okay? But, mm -hmm. All right, so excuse me, y'all. I got to go get something real quick. Wait a minute, here I come. I know I should have had this ready for y'all, but I first got on here, but I'm sorry. All right, now. <laughs> All right, y'all. So um, I received a package in the uh in the mail. Um, and I wanted to open this up and show y'all something before I get into this. You know, uh, I can't stand that bitch. <laughs> um, so of course it didn't have who it was from, but because of where it came from, this person has sent me several things from this place called QVC before. Um, it had a QVC address, so I knew. Well. I guess I'm, a, I'm assuming that it's from my girl, Miss Carrie, okay? And if not, please somebody get me all the way together on that. But Miss um, Carrie sent me this big bottle, okay? It says, it's called Purity Made Simple. It's purity and natural. We come into this world with all the right inks, blah, blah, blah. But wait a minute, I, I, I ain't going to read all that. I ain't, I ain't got time for all that. One step facial cleaner, okay? That's what y'all really want to know. Girl, what the hell is that shit? Don't read all that bullshit about natural and nature. Girl, get to it, okay? Hey, shit. One step facial cleanser, okay? So I'll read all of this, all you know, everything like that and all that kind of stuff later. But it says it deep cleans your pores and eliminates makeup buildup. It hydrates as it melts away makeup. It contains deep cleansing agents, natural or abstract, help conditioned skin fragrance free formula i love that because i don't like fragrances on my face it could break you out and it contains a unique blend of extracts for a unique fresh scent okay so when i you know on my makeup channel i'll be trying this out and let y'all know what's up with that and it comes with a with a nozzle which is great because this is a huge bottle so okay yeah so it's sealed but yeah this is the little nozzle okay that you just put in and all that kind of stuff and everything like that and all that Okay, so, <laughs> all right, y'all, so, yeah, so that's from Miss Carrie. Thank you, Miss Carrie. I will have this forever. Yes, I will, child. I ain't never got to buy no more facial cleaners. If that works for me very well, I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, somebody sent me a little card, okay? So, I'm not going to show their information, okay? But they sent me... You know, a little cord, you know, my name, my, you know, my government name and my address and all that kind of stuff and all that and everything like that. <laughs> so anyway, um, and they are from Cleveland, Ohio. OK, now, unfortunately, because I deal with so many people, the person's name that's on here, I don't recognize it. Um, I don't know if this is a person that comments on my videos under another name. Because, you know, people have different names. They have their government name. Then they have their YouTube name. They have their Instagram name, their Facebook name, you know, their Periscope name, their Snapchat name. So, I don't, I'm sorry. So, I, this may be somebody that I talk to all the time on YouTube or, or somewhere. But the name that's actually on the card, 
Um, I don't, I don't know. Okay. So if you are the person that sent me this card, please come in my inbox when you know my DM or, or something like that, and let me know who who you are. But I am so appreciative. Like I thought that it was wonderful, and it says thanks. And so let's see what they thinking, Mama. For let's see, ten minutes, child. I got to get to this conversation, child. Just want to let you know that I absolutely enjoy your videos and vlogs. Um, I love them. And even when you check them haters, girl, I know that's right. <laughs> See, I told you I get people all the way together. All okay? right. Mm -hmm. We love you and your family. Keep vlogging. God bless you always. I also would love to do swaps on products sometimes. And if you like, um, and if you like coupons, I can share some of mine. Much love, Mrs. Okay. And uh, you know that that's my business and all that kind of stuff and everything like that. So, <laughs> so ma'am, thank you so much. Please let me know what your name is on YouTube. I apologize. Um, right offhand, I don't recognize, you know, if, if they just gave me a first initial and a last name. The last name is common. I know a lot of people with that last name. And actually with that first initial too. So um, ma'am, I, I, I mean, thank you. I, I'm really glad, you know, that, um, that you thought of me enough to send me a card to say thank you. I mean, you could have very well have just sent me an email, a, a message on YouTube, a message on Instagram, a message on Facebook. But you took the time to buy a card and address it to me and put a sample on it and mail it. Like, wow. I really appreciate that. And I'm glad that you enjoy me. I'm glad that I'm able to bring some content that, you know, that you actually enjoy. I, I appreciate that support. So there you have it. Um, all right. So let's get to this conversation real quick, child, while I eat and drink and all that kind of stuff and take my pills, girl. Because, yeah, I take vitamins. When I said I take pills, I meant the, my, my vitamins, okay? My fish oil, my B12. You know, you got to keep your energy up, you know, especially when you get in your 40s, okay? When you start approaching that 50 mark, you have to keep yourself together. You have to take your vitamins and, and, and things like that. Um, I take a multivitamin, which is not in a, um, a bottle because the bottle is gone, but I keep some of my pills in here. Um, a multivitamin. Women, uh, when I turned 40, my doctor told me I need to start taking um, a, a, a multivitamin. And that's what I did. Um, I have my flax seed and my um, chia seeds in here. Um, I grind it up in, the, um, in this little uh, thing here. And, um, you know, I, that's what that's what I did. OK, so anyway, let's let's get to this. OK, so have you ever said, OK, now let, this, this is this is what it is. OK, me and my husband was talking the other day. Now, this is something this is a conversation. This is also like a eyes married now how to stay married tip. OK, and I'm going to tell you why. Reason being, because me and my husband just had this conversation the other day. But this is really a conversation that you definitely need to have before you get married. Seriously. We failed to have this conversation, but thank God the conversation went well and we were both on the same accord as it relates to this subject. Now, as it relates to in-laws, okay, I know some of y'all have had in-laws that you have, been, you know, said, I can't stand that bitch. You asked my girl, how your mother-in-law do? I can't stand that bitch. <laughs> but thank God that I'm not in that position, okay? I'm not on that, I can't stand that bitch, I can't stand that old hag, you know, whatever names you give your mother-in-law. I'm not on that level, okay? My motto is try to get along with your in-law as best you can. And I'm going to tell you the reason why, okay? I know some in-laws can be a little bit difficult to deal with, but as, as much as you can, kill them with kindness and try to love them and try to look past whatever faults they have, if, or, if at all possible. I'm going to tell you why. One of the reasons why is this, because now you have some men that really love their moms. OK, point blank. They really love their moms. OK. And when you start getting into, um, you know, a situation where you're not getting along with your in-law, that could seep into your marriage and cause problems. And it puts your husband or your mate in a situation where they always feel like they have to choose or they always feel like they're in the middle, you know, of a beef. And men don't like drama and beef to that degree. You may have some, you know, bitch ass niggas that, that be on that tip. But most men that I know, you know, that I deal with, they don't 
they like real men. They don't like all that drama and beef and confusion. Men just like simple and easy. They like things to go easy and, and, and to go smoothly, okay? So sometimes you could put your husband in an awkward situation, okay? It's, it's going to be very hard for you to tell your husband, you know what that bitch, your mother, that bitch did to me today. Like, really? Like, you can't go there with your husband when it comes to his mom. You might can talk to your girlfriend and say, yeah, that bitch ass mother-in-law, blah, 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 blah. And, but you can't go there, you know, to that level with your husband. You can't really go a whole lot of places with your husband as it relates to going against his mom, even if she did something wrong. You just can't do that. So the best thing, the easiest thing to do to try to keep a happy marriage is try to get along with your in-laws. Now, this is the reason why I say this, okay? Now, me and my husband were sitting down having a conversation. I don't really know what brought up the conversation, but, um, you know, we were talking and we were just like, you know, realizing that our, our parents, my, my husband and I's parents, are getting older. Like, they're in their 70s, okay? Okay. And the reality of it is, is when your parents start to get older, you know, you start to think about, you know, the fact that maybe one day, maybe soon, maybe, you know, you, they can live to be 100. But I'm just saying, you just tend to start thinking about that when they start getting older. Because for some reason, when you start getting older, you start getting more health issues and all that kind of stuff. And we were just talking about something, which I don't know what brought it on. And we were saying, you know, baby, um... My husband was like, baby, you know, our parents are, are getting older. He said, I want to ask you something. If my mom was to get so ill that she can't live on her own anymore and take care of herself, how would you feel about her coming to stay with us? And that was a no brainer for me. I says, uh, hands down, no problem. That's a no brainer for me. I said, boo, listen, if something ever happened with your mom and she needed to come to stay with us, Yes, you better hurry up and get your ass on down there and get her and bring her on up here. Okay, that was my response. That was a no-brainer. I have no issues with my mother-in-law. However, what if I what if we were in a situation where I had problems with my mother-in-law and my husband sat down and was talking to me, the conversation we didn't have before we got married, which we should have, and he said, you know, the same thing about mom coming. And I'd have been like, oh, really? Uh-uh, hell. <laughs> Boy, bye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What if me and his mom didn't get along and he sat down and had that conversation with me and I had a total opposite reaction based off of however me and her relationship had been going over the eight years that I've been with my husband. That could have caused a major issue, a major rift in our marriage because my husband loves his mom. OK, and he's an only child like he has no siblings. So it's not like he could say, well, if mom can't come here, then I do have other siblings that might can take on a responsibility. And he's definitely against um, putting his mom in a nursing home. That's just like a, a no go for him. It's like he said he will never put his mother um, in the nursing home as long as he's living and, and in good health and able to take care. He would never do that. And I agreed with him because I said the same thing about my mom. I said, you know, I didn't even have to ask him how would he feel about my mom coming if she was to get in a situation where she could no longer maintain her home and, and herself, you know, due to health. And I didn't even have to ask him because, first of all, they get along perfect. But just because people get along don't mean they want somebody living in their house. But I, I know that they, they have an excellent relationship. My, my, my husband has an excellent relationship with my mom. And so I didn't have to ask, but he just came out and said it. And boo, by the way, as it relates to your mother, you know, it ain't even no question. You better go get your mama if something happened to her. Because that's his baby. You know what I mean? He loves my mom. So thank God that conversation went well. I agree. We were on the same page. Because it could have went the other way and it could have caused a major issue in our marriage. So I'm, I'm telling you all this because it made me think. What if I didn't get along with his mom? What if he didn't get along with my mom and both of us are against nursing homes and he don't have any siblings? I have uh, a few siblings, but they may not be. You understand what I'm saying? So it went well for us, but I'm telling you all this so that you can think about your situation. If you're not getting along with your mother-in-law, try as hard as you can to make good on that because it could cause a rift in your marriage. If your husband is against putting his mom away in a nursing home and you can't stay in her ass. And you understand what I'm saying? Wow.
it, it could cause a problem. Huh? Okay, I'm doing a video. Okay, here I come. I'm sorry, that's my son. He's just getting back from his football practice. Yeah, so that's, that's basically what it was. Try to get along with your in-laws because one day they're going to get old and they may have to come stay with you, okay? And you don't want that to cause division in your marriage, okay? So that's just like a little eyes married now how to stay married tip. Talk about this before you get married. And if you already married, sit down tonight with your husband and have that conversation about what's going to happen with each other's mom if they get sick, especially if you know you don't get along with his mom or vice versa. Okay, all right. Uh, I'll meet y'all on Makeup for Dummies because I got to do my hair, girl, and do my score off tutorial. And I got to open the door for my son. Okay, bye, girl. Mm, mm, mm.